Welcome back to my channel and today's tutorial is going to be 90s inclusive. So I'm already decked out, got my hoops on, got the hair done, and now we just gotta fix the face. The spot conceal and see where that takes us. I'm gonna use a little bit of color correcting as well. As you can tell, I do have a little bit of breakout going on right now, and of course my usual discolorations. They gotta go bye-bye. Color correcting. I'm gonna use this infallible total cover cor color correcting kit. And this is by L'Oreal. And I'm going to do a mix of the green and the yellow color, the green and the orange, actually, for my redness. Because Oh, Lord knows this needs help. But pretty much the look that we're gonna do today is going to be quite limited, but we don't wanna look like we've been like, not sleeping for 80 years. This look is going to be minimal, but also done up. We're not gonna do any foundation. We're gonna spot conceal, like I said. Uh, of course, we're gonna do mascara. We're gonna do a lippy, you know, highlight. But we're not going to do the crazier side of the 90s. We're going to try to dim it down and do the more, you know, laid back. Oh, am I wearing anything? Mm, I didn't remember. Kind of look. I'm looking at my eyes right now. They do look like they got oh, a little bit of bags under them. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to fix that. And go back into my color correcting kit and dab right under my eye. Oh, you could really see it when I go like this. Ooh. Ooh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay guys, now that we have our color correcting blended out, we're gonna go in and we're going to conceal. Now, this is the Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. You know, my favorite ever concealer. powder we're just gonna go in and contour now that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in and contour and make our skin like a little you know butter brown now that we have our contour all done I'm I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush I'm not really a blushy kind of person I feel like my redness already, you know, comes through even when I put foundation or concealer on. So I really skip it, but I mean. We're going to be, try to be as natural as possible. So I have um, an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette here and it's kneaded and nude. That's the palette name. And we're gonna go in with our Farah 243 brush, our handy dandy Farah brush. And we're going to take a kind of petal pink color, put it on the tip of the fluffy end of our brush. And I can show you actually the color. It's this one here. All right, and just mm -hmm. 
When no one is around you Say to me I love you if you ain't running game I mean honestly guys like you you know we can argue about this if you really want but nothing's beating 90s music like all across the board like i feel like all the music had it, it's just they were before their time like and it's the music that like had actual meaning and you could understand what they're saying All to no shade. And it had the most like iconic love songs, breakup songs, even like shady songs. Like, I absolutely love it. And I feel like you, and especially like. Um, hip-hop, R&B, and even just rap in general in the 90s. You know, you didn't have just like nonsense rap. They were rapping and making sense. Like, they weren't just talking about nonsense. And nowadays, that's what a lot of the rappers do. They talk about nonsense, getting high, getting drunk, getting with this one, and all, all of this nonsense. I'm just like... It totally like turns me off. That's like I don't really listen to like rap that people consider like rap nowadays. I'm just like like mainstream rap. And I'm not gonna call out any names because if you know music you know what I'm talking about. Like but I do like Drake and I really like Eminem, J. Cole, but they actually be talking about stuff in their songs. Yeah, Drake be talking about some of the stuff that I totally hate. And sometimes I'm like, I'm not really a big fan of it, but a lot of his songs are good. I think that back to what I was saying before. It's Nothing's touching like 90s. 90s music, I'm really sorry. Do you guys like the 90s like music? Do you guys listen to that more than today's music? I feel like that's what I do. I listen to a lot of um, 90s, R&B, um, 90s, early 2000s pop. Um, 80s, I listen to like 80s pop, some alternative. I like 80s rock. Um, but yeah, I listen to like a lot of like old-ish, old music. Like people call it, they say it's old. More than like today's music polished base shadow brush for this and use this like mocha shadow here so it's this one right here all right put some and go right at the end of our lash line and kind of bring it into the crease a little bit a detail brush from Polished. We're gonna go into this champagne color right here. And we're gonna put that on our lid. Okay guys, now that we have that shimmery champagne color on our lid, I just wanna soften out the edges from that petal pink and mocha kind of shade that we apply. So I'm using the Luxie 249 brush, the fluffy end, and going back into that petal pink color okay and we're gonna apply a little bit to that right on the edges of that brown just incorporate it a little bit and a little bit of that pink you don't want to like overdo it because we're gonna put an actual white or like ivory color at the top and i feel like the 90s had like two distinct eras. So it was like the more natural and subtle looks. And then it was like the crazy colors, the like blue lid that like went from like your actual eyelid all the way up to the brow, red lips, a lot of glitter. Mm, and 
I really wasn't like feeling that, especially with my look. So I was like, I'm just gonna do the more mellow and more soft kind of looks. So probably like middle 90s, if you wanna call it that. Stay with the fluffy end and go like right to the brow bone with it. It just calls attention to the arch in the brow and also right down to your eyes because they're like, oh, look. Do I have makeup on? Do I not? You'll never know. All right. Guys, I swear to God on everything. If you play this song at a party, just play this song. If you're having a party and it's a little bit dreary and you don't know how to spice things up, you always have music. So use that to your advantage. Like, if I go to a party and you're playing this song, your party's, your party's it, your party's lit. Like, that's, that's just like one of the songs that you have to have on your playlist at a party. I don't care what no one says, you have to have it. That's like right of passage. You're, having a party um what songs do you have on there because this is one of the uh, songs to get the party started and i'm not even lying ask anyone ask anyone ask any real music person or person who likes to have a good time ask them the anastasia beverly hills glow kit and sugar we're gonna use the shade marshmallow for the inner corner of our eyes. And this is an e.l.f. brush actually. This is a 202 brush. This is perfect for the inner corner highlight. I'm telling you, it never gets old. Don't you notice like, or maybe it's just me, but you listen to a lot of the music today and like if you listen to that a song too much you're just like i'm tired of it like it annoys you like when you hear it too much like and too often music this kind of music like i'm telling you i heard this song i don't know how many times and i still listen to it and bop to it i'm telling you Stranger to my eyes, you're in my pain with this fingers. We are using our primer, of course, and it's the one from Tarte called Opening Act. And we're going to prime our lashes and look for mascara. So the mascara we're going to use is actually from Tarte, and it's the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And let's see how this applies. I don't even think I've worn this one yet. I don't think so. I'm so keen on the Too Faced one and ooh, the Amazonian clay one that I usually use from Tarte. What? Honey. What? I'm sorry, but Alicia, Alicia, honey. I, Alicia was one of the first female singers that i ever started listening to and the one of the first female artists that i listened to and i was like she makes me want to sing like she be acting like she writes music that i'm like i never went through this but i feel like i went through it right like anyone else like ever feels like that like you listen to a song or like an artist and you're like wow like i get you i understand but you're like then again, I never even went through that, but I understand, like, I love her. This album, that's probably one of her, like, best albums that she's ever made in her entire life. Like, you don't even get me started. Okay, guys, so this may come as a shock to some of you, but I don't own a brown lip liner. And that's because I don't wear like brown lipsticks or anything that's kind of like in the brown category on my lips usually. 
Um, and anything that's kind of close to that shade or color is wine, like the wine color or like burgundy color in the fall and the winter. But like, I really don't use lip liner for that. So we're gonna try something and please bear with me. So the like number one lip choice in the 90s i feel like was either lip gloss or like a like light pink lip red and the most iconic lip style that like everyone in the 90s did was brown now it was either a whole brown lip or it was liner with like a nude shade to like transition into so that's what we're gonna try to do i'm gonna try to line my lips with a lipstick that's like a wineish brown color and then go in with a nude and then put a gloss on top and we're gonna see how that goes i like i said bear with me please have Kat Von D's Vampira Vampira lipstick here and I'm just dabbing it into the lipstick and it's like this wine kind of shade you know what I'll just do this so you guys can see what I mean it's like it looks red and it's getting me mad it is kind of red but I don't want to do a pink lip with this I just I want to be true to the culture okay I want to do that lip so we're just gonna we're gonna try it on and if it looks bad we're taking it off that's what we're gonna do no this is not the vision that I wanted okay this isn't what I wanted so we're removing it guys you know what we're not gonna let this thing go to waste we're not gonna sham this tutorial we're not doing it so we're removing it and we're gonna try a different shade because i'm not doing it <sighs> what if i use lolita maybe i'll use lolita the other kat von d lipstick shade and because that's it's like a pinkish brown but it's light so i'm was ugh, i was nervous that it wasn't gonna come out and you weren't gonna see it but I'm thinking if I do that and maybe just this is just honestly like I don't want to dip that brush back into like another lipstick of mine because I don't want it to stain the lipstick one too and I don't want that wine color to come onto my lip so what am I supposed to do now I have an idea let's just see if this works because i'm gonna be really upset if it doesn't i'm gonna cry all this off so what if i just use the lolita brush right and just try to outline my lip like a liner and try to just put a lighter color let's just see it so we outlined our lips and now we're gonna go in with this light shade from Victoria's Secret and it's one of their cream liquid lips in the velvet matte and it's in the shade adored so let's see how that goes it's like a pink kind of nude so let's see Honestly, you know, and Anne Marie's coming on. Wait, why don't we fall in love? So, we did that, and even though we had our struggle with the lipstick, 
we still did that. Like, our skin looks glowing. Any Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, anywhere you go. Hoops is shining, hair is cute. Personality on 100. You guys will usually see me with my glasses, but you know what? I wanna try them on and see how they look with the look. This look looks absolutely gorgeous. It's natural, but it's also done up. Like people in the 90s really knew what they were doing. And that's a fact on fact, honey. I still look cute with my glasses. I mean, can you ask for more? Can you really? I mean, we're glowing. We're having a good time. Music is bumping. I mean, it's just like honey when you love. From looking like an ogre under the bridge to some model in the 90s, like. We did that. Hey guys, so thanks so much for tuning in. It was a fun tutorial, especially with our little 90s theme thrown into the mix. I'm hoping to do some more videos like this, but with different eras. So if you let me know down below which ones you'd like to see, that would be greatly appreciated. And it would help me a lot in choosing for the next video. So yeah everything will be listed down below products wise and also song wise i've been leaving my playlist under my videos and just in case you guys are interested in any of the music that i play so yeah thanks so much for watching guys and for tuning in and for all the love and support next video i'm hoping to post within the week so look out for that and until next time i love you guys Bye.